where do you guys feel like you're at as a team right now? Right now, I feel like just everything is like starting to click together. We're playing well. Uh, the past two games, uh, I think we're, I forget what the stat was, but we outscored our opponents a lot to a little, and we only let up three, which in my mind was still a shot, shut out, which that, that, that's to get into it. <laughs> for sure, man, for sure. Uh, you take a look at this team, you know, just knowing you took on Hamilton Southeastern, center growth for the first two weeks of the season. How did that sharpen this team once SAC play rolled around? I think that really just like upped our performance levels into kind of like a self-awareness of where we're at and what we need to do and what we how we need to play and just the indie schools compared to the S SAC uh, you know if you start that with the year then you, you can handle anything. Well, taking a look at this Snyder team, uh, this game could very well decide who wins the SAC title at the very least the A division. Just what stands out when you take a look at this Snyder team? Uh, number one, Brandon Logan. Uh, he's just a dog, and I've known him for, or not known him, but I've heard of him, and he's just a great athlete, so we got to be aware of him. How do you approach a game of this magnitude? Uh, you kind of touched on, you know, those non-conference games and how they, they mean a little bit. They're a little different compared to SAC play, but how do you approach a game of this magnitude? Uh, just preparation and don't take anyone lightly. And end of the day, it's just a game, but I know it is for the conference and it will probably be us or Snyder. And so winner takes it. Defensively, what do you guys need to key in on this week to make sure you have success against Snyder's offense? Game tackling, just uh, if they put Brandon Logan back there and just, I think he runs Wildcat. Uh, but just being prepared for that and just game tackling and making sure that he goes down. 